Hi there, today I'm going to show you a micro hydroelectric system and explain how it works. This is the intake structure. What we have is some cedar boards, beams really, stretching across the creek, dug down into the mud on the either side of the creek. It's a good clay soil with some big rocks to help stabilize it. There is a notch in the middle of the, the weir where the water flows through. It flows over an intake box that has a stainless steel screen called hydro screen on the top of it called a wedge wire screen that allows the water to go right through it but keep all the particles and the sticks and the leaves from clogging up anything. It just washes right off. The self-cleaning intake screen. Then we have a four inch polyethylene pipe that heads downhill. That pipe is full of water driving the turbine at the bottom. One other thing I want to show you is this weir also serves as a flow gauging station. There's 16 inches between the two sides of the knot and there is a let me try to zoom in here. There's a little stainless steel ruler down there that shows us the height of the water above the notch, above the bottom part of the notch. And if we know the size of that rectangle and we know the height of the water flowing through it at atmospheric pressure, we can look it up on a table, right over here, to tell us the flow rate. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. So right now, it's about there's about three and a half inches of water, or so it's 315 gallons per minute. Let's zoom out. It's flowing right there, 315 gallons, give or take. But the weir leaks which is fine because we got to keep water in the creek for the fishes. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Alright, let's follow the pipe, see where it goes. So this polyethylene pipe comes in 20 foot sticks. And we use what's called a fusion welding process to do butt welds between the ends of the pipe. Did it as part of a workshop, a Solar Energy International micro hydroelectric workshop on Guaymas Island. We had about 20 people that came out here and helped us drag this pipe down the mountain. It's really pre pretty easy because we have a road at the top and we were able to get all the pipe to the top. And then we did the welding, which I'm showing you here. So the fusion, the butt fusion welding machine holds the two ends of the pipe securely and squarely to each other and then has a little trimming device that goes in there and spins around and trims the faces nice and smooth so that they mate really well. And then there's a heater element which softens the plastic and heats it so it'll fuse. And then you pull the, the heater out and slam them together under some pressure and uh, they just melt together just like that. So it does leave a little bead on the inside and the outside and so you know there's a little friction there but all in all it is a great way to get water downhill for making power. So we have come down the mountain now about a hundred feet vertical that's the amount of head, head pressure that the system has, about 110 feet or so. So I've got almost exactly 50 pounds of pressure at the turbine. And I'm getting down here and it, it changes to white PVC pipe. Let me zoom out. Oh, my. And then it splits through this manifold. It splits into four two inch 
flex hoses and they all come together and shoot into the, the turbine. Micro hydroelectric generator. This is a 48 volt DC system and this is a permanent magnet alternator kind of just like an overgrown truck alternator 48 volts and um, in a second here I'm gonna come around the other side and take it apart let me just move around there she is in her glory this is what makes all of our electricity up at the house home and office Okay, so I have a meter on the output of the turbine so we can see what it's producing. Right now it's making 15 and a half amps at 54.5 volts. So you can do the math, but it's probably in the 800, 900 watt range power. I'm gonna take it apart now and we'll show you the inside. Okay, so I've taken off all the quick disconnects and the turbine is just sitting here. I'm going to take the fan off. The turbine is sitting here, just kind of a friction fit in here. Let me, I'm already zoomed out. Lift her out. Kind of a, not an easy one-handed job. But, uh, it's on flexible conduit so the wiring can just pull to the side. And there we have it. That's called the Pelton wheel runner inside there. It's got four nozzles that shoot onto the buckets and make her spin. So there you have it, micro hydroelectricity. From here, the power goes up the hill to the batteries. It's about 600 feet of distance and it's on number two copper wire. The alternator is always charging the batteries, but once the batteries get fully charged and the voltage comes up, there's a diversion load controller, charge controller, that takes that incoming power and sends it to an electric resistive element in a hot water tank. Um, so that's a dump load, but it is a usable source of hot water which we can use up at the house. That's pretty much how it works. Thanks for watching. And uh, this is Eric from Island Energy. Hope to talk to you again soon.